Okay, I'm testing my overhead uh, camera uh, mount because I wanted to see if I can't uh, show you guys how this little mechanical timer works to uh, take an exposure on my uh, mini speed graphic. Uh, it's really a neat little device uh, and it, there's a lot of steps to it and unless you use it often, uh, at least I do, I have to kind of stop and think about what, what goes uh, in order here. Uh, the first thing we have to do, of course, is on the camera, and that's sh set the shutter speed, which I have now at a uh, hundredth of a second, and I also have to remember to cock the shutter, and that has to be done every time. It's kind of like a single shot revolver. Now, on the timer, this connects to the cable release, and to get this thing to work, uh, the first thing we want to do is make sure this little lever is set to off, otherwise the timer will just start going on its own. And then we have to set how much time we want the timer to run. And since we're not doing a timed exposure, we just want it to release the shutter. Any time works, but so you don't have to wait too long. I'll just keep it on one second where it is now. So uh, to get this thing ready to go, uh, the first thing we want to do is to wind it. And just give it a good turn. And then we also have to get the plunger set up that's going to actually uh, make the exposure. And there's a little um, lever here that you have to make sure is moved over so that you can disengage this top piece. And what that does is help hold the um, shutter relief uh, release in position. So if I can do this from way over here, and if I look clumsy, that's just because I am. Oh, uh, I forgot to do one thing. I'm not clumsy, I'm just forgetful. We need to cock this shutter first uh, just by pressing it down and what that does, uh, that allows this little lever to come down and lock into place. So now I've got the clearance to put my uh, shutter release in that I didn't have before. So that goes in and you want this top shoulder to be up here and the plunger of course is going to fit in this little piece. So we just close it down until it engages and we're all set to go. The shutter is now locked in place. The, the cable release. Our timer is set. Now normally you can uh, hang this off of a string or something so you don't put strain on your uh, uh, cable so you don't kink it. But for now since it's kind of resting on the table uh, we'll go ahead and just use it. So let me turn this lever to start the whole thing. You'll see it running. And you'll hear the shutter. And there it goes.